This is Artifacts of Mars. And I want you to look at this story. There are two stories that I have for you. And they're both wicked and evil. I'll show you what's going on uh, with our uh, colleges. Uh, this has to do with support for ISIS on campus. I already knew that these schools were indoctrination centers. Something like uh, Cornell University is a major leftist indoctrination center. But what we have going on here are, is essentially treason. Now, we've all heard of ISIS, not to be confused with uh, God ISIS, that's something different. Some people are confusing that. Uh, that's totally different. ISIS stands for Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. This ISIS. Okay, uh, here's what they want to do. I suggest you get the kids out of the room, let me slip off a bit. Project Veritas dot com is going into these schools, probably other places too, and essentially tricking these sons of bitches into revealing who they are. Now what we have here essentially is treason uh, in these schools. Uh Joseph Scafido is a dean of students and an undercover uh, reporter posing as a Moroccan student asked him if it would be okay to set up a training camp for ISIS. And, yeah, it would be okay to set up a training camp for ISIS. Now, da, what is ISIS? They are vicious, evil, evil, evil. organization. What do they do? Well, they kill people. That's all they care about is killing. And taking your uh, wives and daughters and sending them to some big fat slob to be raped day after day. This guy is either the dumbest Ivy League bigwig ever or politically correct to a fault from welcoming offers to bring ISIS and Hamas to Cornell University. The video sting shows Cornell, Cornell's assistant dean for students, Joseph Scafido, agreeing to everything suggested by an undercover muckraker posing as a Moroccan student. Scafido casually endorses an ISIS freedom fighter he conducted a training camp for students on the upstate Ithaca campus, bizarrely likening the activity to a sports camp. Then Cornell University uh, did their uh, thing to try to soften this. Cornell. Only supports free exchange of ideas and does not review or control the political ideology of our students. We do not, of course, tolerate unlawful advocacy or violence, and the comment about training by ISIS freedom fighters does not reflect university policy. Bullshit. Uh, said Joseph Joel Molina, Cornell's Vice President for Universities Relations. Bullshit. What you have here is a bunch of goddamn traitors, and who knows how many. What they're doing, see, this is typical of these hardcore left-wing uh, schools. Now, if you're a right-winger, they're going to be on your ass 24-7. I guarantee you that. I mean, if you have a right-wing... Uh group or whatever, they're going to be on your ass. 
if they're religious, they're going to say, hey, pack it up and move. I guarantee it. You know, if you're a Christian religious, I'm an agnostic. Well, I can certainly see the uh, persecution of Christians going on in this country. I don't want to get off track. And basically, they support ISIS. This is, in old-fashioned terms, this is called treason. Now, if you don't have patriotic bone in your body, you might, you know, I want to remind you of what they want to do to you. If you're an adult, you either convert or they cut your head off. That's pretty simple. Well, if you're an adult male. If you're an adult female, they might cut your head off, but more than likely they'll take you to be raped day after day by some big fat slob. Some sheik somewhere or whatever. You don't have about as many rights as uh, your average... Uh, garbage disposal does. And as for your kids, what's going to happen with them? Well, the boys get used for uh, suicide bombers and cannon fodder, that type of thing. The girls, they'll be taken and uh, raped by day after day by some big fat slob like I said before. That's what they. That's what these are. These are a bunch of pedophiles. They're utterly disgusting, horrible creatures. Now, what are they? What would they do with care packages and money? Well, they. You think that's going to reform them? It's not. They're going to buy weapons, use it for recruiting, and so on. This is just pure evil. Okay, I'm going to show you Project Veritas briefly. I'll show you their homepage. They deserve a good plug. I salute them. I, uh... My hat's off to them. I don't know who exactly they are other than they're doing the Lord's work. Alright, so... Next thing you know, same people uh, look up a Catholic university in Miami, Florida. They're called Barry University. And here we have James O'Keefe as their, uh, apparently who runs them. Uh, Veritas. When we have a Catholic university that's doing the same thing. Uh, basically, of course, they deny night too. When they had a student who wants to uh, set up a group uh, to support Hamas, uh, not Hamas, uh, Islamic State, ISIS. Hidden camera footage from released Monday shows officials and faculty at Barry University advising a senior identified only as Laura about the best way to secure funding for a club she called sympathetic students in support of the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. Why not start a fundraising efforts on campus and what I want to do is raise funds to send overseas. That's called treason. Bailey Blay offered to help her create the organization agreed with her request to pass out Islamic State flags and educate people at an annual student festival of Nations Fair. I haven't reviewed the video. Uh, this is called treason, folks. And this is what you know, a lot of us have been saying about these colleges. Now, this Cornell is a state college. 
Barry University is a private Catholic college. I'm very disappointed with the Catholics. I was hoping that they would resurrect the uh, Templars to help fight uh, ISIS, but I can see that's not going to happen. And these are the people who think that they're going to go to heaven. They claim to believe in Jesus Christ. These are followers of Jesus Christ, and they're supporting ISIS. What the fuck? You know, the whole world's gone completely berserk. It's turned inside out, it's upside down. They have, we have traitors on campus, folks. Of course, Barry University denies that they would allow this, but again, you would, uh, it would be very difficult to find a patriotic person running any of these universities. I'm very disappointed in the Catholics on this one. I thought at least they would stand by this country, but I see not. Based on Miami Shores has received more than 112 million in federal grants and contracts, another 109 million from Florida taxpayers since 2000. Why is the Catholic University getting federal grants? Uh. Oh boy, why are they getting money from taxpayers? Anyway, this is treason, folks. And like I said, if you don't have a patriotic bone in your body, think of it this way. When Islamic ISIS attacks, and they will attack us eventually, and they've said so. They will attack us eventually, and when they do, uh, what they want to do, take your, you know, will take adult females if they're attractive, and then they'll take them and they'll uh, give them some big fat slob to be raped day after day. And... They take your kids, and they either uh, do that with the girls, too, and the boys, what they do is they take a knife and they cut off their heads. That's what these people do. Well, they're not people. They're beasts, as far as I'm concerned. We should have wiped them out a long time ago. But, but the thing is... These colleges and universities are supporting ISIS. They support the enemies. This is mega treason. This is mega treason. Of course they deny it. Uh, well, we do it, but we don't do it. That's classic uh, leftist stuff. They do it, and then they deny it. They do it. They're supporting our enemies. ISIS wants to kill you. And these scumbags, these reprehensible, disgusting scumbags, I, I have no words. Now, I doubt very seriously that this is isolated incidents. I know these uh, schools and say that in quotes. And I'm quite sure this is all over the country. We got a major fucking problem. Uh, when ISIS attacks, which way are you going to shoot? I mean, I've been encouraging people to buy guns, buy guns, buy guns, buy guns, buy guns. But which way are you going to shoot? Uh, I don't know. It's gonna, it's gonna get ugly, folks. I guess the only way you'll know which way to shoot is when you see the ISIS flag, and that'll be your cue. 
Well, you see them wearing their bizarre outfits that they wear from the Middle East or something. I don't know. You're going to have to decide. I mean, we have traitors on campus. We have... And students are traitors. And these... These people are Christians. They believe that they're doing the right thing. Remember, somebody who supports ISIS and what they're doing thinks that they're going to go to heaven and be with Jesus. This is why I'm an agnostic. I quit the Christian religion. Uh, I can't handle it. You don't like it? Well, let me explain something to you. Their actions reflect on the religion, whether you like it or not. Don't give me this crap about keep your eyes on Jesus. Uh, I, the only thing I can do is look at his representatives. And his representatives are supporting one of the most evil organizations ever conceived of. We're in trouble, people. And then Obama, make matters worse, is trying to create, recreate an old Persian empire. And that's another video. We're in big time trouble. We have traitors running the schools, traitors in government. This is big time treason. This is big time evil. I gotta get moving. I have to get, get to work. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Okay? And buy those guns. Because you're going to need them. Of course, I'm not sure which way you're going to... I don't know which way you're going to shoot, but... I can't advise you on that. Hats off to Project Veritas. And to these other scumbags, I don't know what to do. I just don't. We've got to stop them, but I don't know how. This is big time treason. Wake up, people. I'm so disgusted right now. Them are the facts of Mars.